Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to part 7 in creating a linked list project in the C++ tutorial. And uh, so now that we've created all of our list definitions here, all of our function definitions for our list, we're going to test it in the main.cpp file and uh, we're going to correct any mistakes that uh, we may have typed in in the process. So let's go ahead and in NetBeans here we're going to open projects and uh, we're going to open up the main.cpp file and there we have uh, just a main file that's empty and uh, we got the C standard library included we're going to also need to include our list.h file so we include that in uh, quotation marks there and we shouldn't need to use iostream for this file so let's go ahead and test our list class in this main program here so let's test the add node function here so I don't know if um, this is going to work. It should, I hope. I mean, I think I did everything correctly. I'm pretty confident, but uh, mistakes can happen. So let's just try it and see what happens. So first thing we need to do is we're going to create a list object. So you just type in the name of your class, and uh, I'm going to name my list object Paul because that's me. Why not? So the first thing I want to check is I'm going to check the add node function. And so I'm going to do Paul, which is my list object, and then I'm going to have it call the add node function. And it wants me to insert some data here. And uh, I'm just going to add a node with the value 3. And uh, so that should create the list and put the value 3 in the list. So we'll just copy that and paste it a couple times here. And let's go ahead and just put the number 5 and 7. So if this works correctly, it should create a list for this first call. Place the value 3 in it, and then another um, node attached to it with the value 5, and then it'll attach another node with the value 7. And uh, then we'll just go ahead and have our list object call the print list function and see what it looks like. So if this works, we should have the numbers 3, 5, 7 printed out to the screen. So I'm just going to save and run it here, and we'll see what happens. So, yep, there we go. So I've got this external terminal that has the numbers 3, 5, 7. So the add node function is working properly. So now let's just go ahead and try to do the delete node function. So my list object, Paul, is going to call the delete node and it's asking for some data. What data are we looking to delete? Well, let's try to delete the middle item. Let's try to delete the number 5. And let's go ahead and just reprint this again. So paul.print list. And uh, that should print. And, and if that works, we should have 357 printed. And then we should have some message saying that we're deleting the node with number 5 and then it should print the list again which would just be the numbers 3 and 7. So let's test that to see if that is indeed the case. So I'm going to run it again here and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that looked like it worked. We have 357 in our list and it says the value 5 was deleted. Then it reprints the list 3 and 7. Those are the numbers remaining. So, so far so good. Let's keep trying some other cases and test to see if this continues to work. So why don't we try to delete the last item in the list. So let's just go ahead and try that here. And uh, let's see what happens. It should delete the value 7. Yep, looked like that one worked. 3, 5, 7. The value 7 was deleted. And then it reprints the list with just 3 and 5 in there. So what happens... Let's see... What happens if we delete the front node? Let's check just to make sure that that case is working here. And uh, so we're just going to run this one more time and check all three of these cases. So we're trying to delete the node in the front of the list. And let's see, what does it say? It says 3571 was not in the list. Oh, well, that part works. Yeah, I'm supposed to be deleting the node with the number 3. Okay, well we tested another another part of our delete node function and we know that works now. Now that we know now we know if we ask it to delete a node with a value that's not in the list that it will tell us that it's not there. So that part works. And now trying to delete the very first node, the one with the value 3 in it. 
Let's just go ahead and give that one a shot and see what happens. And we got a little bit of an error here. So let's figure out what we did. So we've got three, five, seven. The value three was deleted, so that's the front. And then it's just spitting back a bunch of numbers at us. So there's something wrong with the uh, delete node function. So let's just go ahead and take a peek at it right here and see if we can figure out what it is. So, yeah, we didn't put any kind of condition statement saying what to do if we deleted the head. So now our head pointer, if the, if the uh, node that the head pointer is pointing to gets deleted, then our list doesn't know, or our, yeah, our delete node doesn't really know what to do. Our head pointer is just going to kind of be pointing to just something random. So let's just go ahead and take care of that situation. So I think in this else statement here, let's see, we need to put, like right after this, we're just gonna put an if statement. So we're gonna say that if the del pointer, the, so if the node that the del point, let's see. So basically if if we're if the deletion pointer is pointing to the front of the list we're going to do something special and uh, let's see what are we going to do we want to basically want to advance the head so we're gonna say head is equal to head next and then we're going to say didn't I already do this I think I already did this in the video Maybe I deleted it on some somehow. Be interesting to check that later and see what happened here because I thought I typed this in already. Maybe not. Okay, so let's try this and see if it works now. We'll go ahead and run the program and I think that should solve it. So what do we got? Yep, that worked. Three, five, seven. The value three was deleted. It prints the list. Five and seven remain. So everything's working pretty good there. We've tested the delete node, the add node, the print list. So I think that's all we really need to test. We now have a working program and uh, seems like everything works correctly how it's supposed to. And uh, yeah, so there you go. There's uh, a nice linked list project that uh, you can add to or modify to do whatever you need to to make your list do what it's supposed to do. So anyway, thanks for watching this uh, video tutorial series, and uh, stay tuned for some more uh, videos from my channel. You guys have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.